producers Linda and Terry are here and they're giving advice to our audience um, about their lives. Okay, up next is Anissa. Where's Anissa? You have a question. Hi, Anissa. Hi, Anissa. Hi. My question is, um, I've been performing my whole life basically and once I reached college, I decided to take the safe route and get into accounting. So oh, I wanted beautiful. to know if I should pursue singing and performing oh. or if I should just stick to mm -hmm. what I Absolutely. Made I feel that it's not going to be the main income source, the performing, because you're the kind of person that really needs security financially, yes. am I correct? Yeah. And you're really, really hell-bent on being successful. It's very important to you to have success. And the performing road is not the right one if you really want instant success. But and keep doing it on the side and do your accounting absolutely. for a full-time job. I see you doing musical theater, something like this. Have you ever done that? Yes. Musical theater, because mm -hmm. that's what I'm seeing. You're more on a stage situation, even dinner theater, for the feeling of it, getting the feeling place of enjoying performing because you're a natural, honey. And does you're going to be you, in a film. Does that make you feel sad that they're saying that you're not going to be a big, like Jessica Simpson or oh, a, you know, a little bit, yeah. Rihanna it really does, because like just because I've been doing it my whole life, so I kind of, it's, it's my passion. It's what I'm passionate about. No, do about. it. Keep Go doing it. Go for it. Keep yeah. doing so. it, but just don't be attached to that being a big income stream, because the accounting is better for you. Okay. Wow. In that regard. Right, yeah. Thank you. Okay. You're lovely. Next up is Linda. Where's Linda? Linda. Hi. Hi, Hi Linda. Linda. Okay, my question is about me, and I'd like to know, I'm getting up there in age, and I want to know, where is my soulmate? Where uh, is he? Like, where, where is, the world? is he? Is he? Am I going to meet him next year, next oh. month? Is he in the audience? Where, like, where is, is he? Is he? <laughs> Not in the audience. You know, he doesn't live far from you. No. But it could be a couple of years. I'm seeing two to th yeah, two years. You're probably going to meet him. You'll be married within about three, three and a half years. And he doesn't live far. He uh, doesn't live far. He doesn't live far. And it's a real good soul connection. You know, there's a perfect divine timing for everybody. We always want it so soon. And you know, we've just got to take our time and get to know ourselves and. And have a passion for life with or without a man. Have you had bad luck with guys? No. Well, not really, uh -huh. but I'm not married yet, so that can play a little you? something. Old enough. <laughs> <laughs> Old enough. Old enough to be married. You're still young. That's okay. yeah. You're young, and you've got a lot of good years ahead of you. There's a great guy coming yeah. for you. A couple years. Somebody new? or somebody If somebody new, you don't know him yet. Don't know him. haven't met him yet. Good Thank luck you. Don't Amanda. act too desperate when you okay. meet him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. That's, okay. That's, that's important. Okay, Tanil has a question. Where's Tanil? Hi, Tanil. What's Hello. your question? Hi, Hi Tanil. My question is: At times, I have psychic. I feel like I have psychic mm. abilities and intuitive yes. feelings. I wanted to know if you think I have what it takes to be a psychic. Yes, you, you do. actually. You're clairaudient. You hear spirit. You also have psychic dreams. Am I right? Yes. Yeah, very okay. psychic dreams, yes. intuitive dreams about family members, mm -hmm. sometimes about bad things that are going to happen. Yep. Yeah, What's clear, uh, clear audience? What? The clear audience is one of the four clairs. Clear audience is when you hear spirit talking. Oh, and then yeah. what's the other clairs? Clairvoyant. Uh huh. I hear that one all the time. Which is clear seeing. You can see into the future. Sight. Okay. Or the past. And clear cognizance is clear thought. It's what we do with the automatic writing. We get it as a thought as we write. Okay. And clairsentience is clear feeling. You feel it in your gut. You oh, have clairsentience. I, I know you do. I know Ooh, you have clairsentience. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> I don't feel good about this. Guy. I have that seriously. I know you do. Yeah. Well, that's People will be clear. on my couch and they're like, I'm gonna stay with him, and I'm like, okay. And, and he's gonna break you your heart, it. and I know it, and I feel in your it gut. in my gut. Anyway, uh, where's Jacqueline? <laughs> Give question, Jacqueline. Hi, Mine's about my um, dad and his health. He has like a bad heart. Okay. And we have a history in our family of like heart attack. Right. He had a heart attack, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did he have mm -hmm. a stent put in? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be okay, but he doesn't take care of himself. His diet and he doesn't is poor. have a good diet. His diet, and he needs to exercise more. Is he changing that now? He's trying yeah, to he's, incorporate more. Yeah, he's changed like pretty good. much like his eating habits. It's gonna and everything. help tremendously. He's gonna be around for a while, sweetie. Do you have a brother? Yes. Uh, he's more at risk than you are for the heart problem because he doesn't eat well either. I know, I'm always telling him. Okay. Are you, worried about, a, your, always are you worried about your own health? Yeah, what about yeah. me? No, you're, you're very healthy, healthy and yeah. you work out and eat very well. Your I'm not worried about yeah. you at all. And you know what? I can look at your body and just know about what, what a healthy heart body looks like. Yeah. And you carry your weight around this part of your body, mm -hmm. which means that your heart is healthier. Yeah. When women have an apple shape and the and the mm -hmm. fat is around this area, they're more prone to heart attacks. That's dangerous. So you have that yes. hourglass curve yes. and you have the yeah. hips. So it tends to make a healthier heart. Yes. 
It's true. Alrighty, thank yeah. you. Okay. Knock anyway. off the smoking now. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! You smoke? Yeah. Oh, girl. <laughs> okay, because big hips ain't gonna help your lungs. Okay, we'll be right back.